In this video, I'm going to show you why you should never place sand directly on the bottom of your aquarium. This is something that nobody wants to show you, and this is something that nobody wants to tell you. And of course, there's a lot of misinformation out there that they are telling the hobbyists. And it's not true. That's coming up next in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you proof that fluids do not move easily through a substrate when you place it on the bottom of your aquarium, directly on the bottom. Here in the goldfish tank, I put this substrate in, black sand, and there's less than 20 pounds of sand, because it came in a 20 pound bag. It is an inch or less, or less, of substrate. So think about that, only one inch or less, and some spots it could even be thinner. Now I put this in over four days ago, going on the fifth day. And when I was organizing the plants and everything, and I start putting them into the substrate, what I notice is bubbles coming up out of the substrate. Now, now we're going on five days of this being set up. If bubbles are coming out of the substrate, that means you're not moving fluids. And I'll give you an example. I set up that big, huge 40-gallon breeder with over four inches thick of sand. And yet, you can dig in that sand and you won't see a bunch of bubbles coming out because fluids are moving in and out of that substrate like it's supposed to. That means those bubbles, as we all know, when we set up an aquarium, you may say bubbles on the side of your aquarium when you first set it up, but that only lasts maybe a day or two, and then they disperse because fluids are moving in and out of the substrate, and those bubbles then will finally be released and pop, and, and they won't be in the substrate anymore. But if this is this thin, and this is black sand, and I'll show you proof that when you stir up this black sand, all the bubbles that are trapped in the sand because fluids aren't moving. Now, I don't care what anybody says, but if fluids are moving through the substrate, those bubbles should have been released within 48 hours. But they're still there after four days, and now we're going on the fifth day of that substrate being on the bottom of the goldfish aquarium, and it still contains tons and tons of bubbles. Now, I understand some people are going to turn around and say, oh, well, when you mess it up, you release the bubbles. That's not the point I'm bringing up here. The point is, those bubbles should have been released within 48 hours if fluids were moving through the substrate. That's the point I'm making. If fluids aren't moving through the substrate like it should be because the sand has such a tight matrix, then they're going to remain there forever until something or someone makes or forces water to go through it by disturbing it or like a plant or something trying to bring oxygen down, then those bubbles will be released and used. So this right here is proof that when you place a substrate directly on the bottom of your aquarium, fluids do not move very easily. As you can see, look at all the bubbles that are still coming up out of the substrate four days after placing it down. This right here shows you that fluids are not moving through such a tight matrix. Right here is your proof. You build a plenum, and I guarantee you within 48 hours, you go dig it in there. You're not going to see these bubbles coming up because fluids are moving in and out of the substrate continuously. This is where 
on the whole bottom of this aquarium, it's full of air bubbles that can't that are trapped and can't be released because fluids aren't moving very readily through that substrate. This would explain to you everything that I've been saying on my videos is that this is what will turn eventually anaerobic because if you can't move fluids, the oxygen becomes depleted. And once that oxygen becomes depleted, you only have anaerobic conditions, not aerobic conditions, anaerobic conditions. And I've tried to explain that to you. Look at all the oxygen bubbles laying on top of this black sand. So I just thought I would show this short video. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. This is it. I don't know why they keep telling hobbyists, just put your sand directly on the bottom. But they're still showing that, but they don't explain. Nobody ever shows you that, hey, I put in an inch or two of substrate. And uh, no one ever shows you that when they go digging in it, all the oxygen bubbles that are being released because they're trapped, they're literally trapped because fluids are not moving through the substrate. And this is, this is an easy test anyone can do. Make a plenum and put your substrate at the bottom of the aquarium and then see which one is releasing oxygen bubbles out of the substrate and which one is not. And you'll soon find out that this will tell you the fluids are not moving in and out of your substrate. Therefore, you're going to have anaerobic conditions instead of anoxic conditions, which are aerobic conditions. So uh, until next time, this is Dr. Novak. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, but uh, this is a little experiment that any hobbyist can do to prove my point. Fluids do not move easily when you place a substrate at the bottom of the quarter. And remember, this substrate isn't real deep. It's an inch or less, or less. Most of it is less, and it's still trapping the oxygen bubbles in there and won't release them until you physically do something to release those bubbles out. Okay, so until next time, happy fish keeping.